In our previous episodes, we discussed damage and how to deal it. Now it's time to learn about repairing it. Today, we're talking about the repair party consumable. Let's imagine that an AP shell hits the forward part of our intact fuso and deals 1,500 damage to the bow and, as we remember, another 1,500 to the entire hull. The battleship's HP reduced by 3,000. The damage dealt by each shell to each part will be multiplied by the restoration coefficient. It's 0.1 for the citadel and 0.5 for all the other parts. These coefficients are the same for the majority of ships in the game. The obtained numbers are accumulated in the restoration stack and wait there until you activate your repair party. In fact, of all the damage received by your ship, you'll be able to restore only the HP in this stack. The rest is lost without any possibility to get it back. Repair Party has two main characteristics the amount of HP restored per second and its action time. Almost all ships, with some exceptions, restore 0.5% of their maximum HP per second. That's why if you install a hull, which has more HP, or use the survivability expert commander skill, which increases the maximum value of HP, these changes will affect the amount of HP restored per second by repair party. Its action time depends on the type and nation of the ship. Repair Party restores 285 HP per second for Fuso's top hull. Its action time is 28 seconds. Accordingly, the Japanese battleship can return 7,980 points to its HP pool. If we enable Repair Party right away, we'll restore a mere 1,500 hit points from the stack. But that would mean that a potentially recoverable 6,480 HP from the repair party is lost. That's why it makes sense to absorb some more damage. Let our Fuso burn a little, say for 7,000 HP. The restoration coefficient for fires and floods is 1. Accordingly, all 7,000 damage dealt by the fire will go into the restoration stack and it contains 8,500 HP already. Now it's high time to activate Repair Party. As you remember, the Japanese battleship restores 7,980 HP in 28 seconds. In the combat interface, this is displayed as a grey area in the ship's silhouette. That's the HP that will be restored by one use of Repair Party. The remaining 520 points stay in the restoration stack and wait for the next time you enable Repair Party. Please note that, first of all, a ship's parts get restored in proportion to the received damage, and then it's the turn of the points deducted directly from the HP pool. However, if the restoration stack has more points than the ship parts lost, like in our case, their HP will be restored completely. Even if a ship part lost all of its HP, it will be restored nevertheless. Another interesting peculiarity of the restoration stack function is related to over-penetrations. As you remember from the previous episodes, the damage from them is inflicted directly to the HP bar, but the stack gets the damage multiplied by the coefficient of the ship part through which the shell flew. For example, if our shell pierced the bow or superstructure and inflicted 900 damage, the stack will grow by 450 points. If a shell was able to overpenetrate Fuso Citadel and deal the same 900 damage, the stack would increase by only 90 points. Restoration coefficients have their peculiarities as well. For example, it's 0.33 for citadels of tier 9 to 10 heavy cruisers. Neptune and Minotaur have a greater citadel restoration coefficient, 0.5. The ship's parts restoration coefficient for British battleships is 0.6. 
You can obtain detailed information on this topic from the corresponding article on the WOWS Wiki. Repair Party can be improved by the India Delta signal, which increases the amount of HP restored by 20%. For example, our Fuso will restore 342 points per second with this signal mounted, and the number of points restored by one use of the consumable increases from 7,980 to 9,576. Finally, the Jack of All Trades Commander skill reduces the cooldown of Repair Party. That's it for today. If you find this series useful, click on the bell icon to stay tuned for future episodes. Until next time.